In the technological world, two heavyweights reign in the realm of APIs, rest and soap. Imagine a bustling city where messages are constantly being passed from one end to the other. This is the world of APIs or application programming interfaces. And in this world, REST and SOAP are the two major players. REST or representational state transfer and SOAP, simple object access protocol, are both protocols used for exchanging structured information in the implementation of web services. They are the messengers, the go-betweens, that allow different software systems to interact and communicate with each other. While they may seem similar on the surface, each carries its own set of characteristics that set them apart. As we dive into the depths of these two protocols, we'll explore their unique features, advantages and potential drawbacks. Now that we've set the stage, let's delve into the differences between these two API types. Like all good stories, REST and SOAP have their unique characteristics. Let's peel back the layers and examine the anatomy of these two protagonists in our tale of data communication. REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer, is all about simplicity and flexibility. It operates on a stateless, client-server communication model. This means each request from the client to the server must contain all the information needed to understand and process that request. There's no record of previous interactions and each request is processed in isolation. How does it do this? REST uses HTTP methods like get, post, put and delete to work its magic. These methods allow REST to perform CRUD operations. Let's create, read, update and delete for the uninitiated. Now onto SOAP. SOAP or Simple Object Access Protocol takes a slightly different approach. Unlike REST, which is tied to HTTP, SOAP boasts protocol independence. This means it can work with any transport protocol, HTTP, SMTP, TCP and more. This independence gives SOAP a certain level of versatility, but with great power comes great complexity. SOAP relies heavily on XML for its message exchange. Each SOAP message is an XML document, containing the necessary information for the receiver to understand and process the request. Comparing the two, REST is like a nimble sprinter, quick and efficient, while SOAP is more like a seasoned long-distance runner, capable of going the distance and handling more complex tasks. The two also differ in their communication style. REST is a one-way street, with requests going from client to server, while SOAP is more of a two-way traffic, allowing for messages to be sent back and forth between client and server. Clearly, REST and SOAP each have their own architectural style. But what does this mean in practical terms? REST, with its simplicity and flexibility, has its fair share of both admirers and critics. Let's start with the positives. The first one that comes to mind is REST's simplicity. It's straightforward and easy to use, making it a popular choice for developers. It's based on standard HTTP methods, which means there's no need to install additional software or libraries. This simplicity leads to improved productivity and faster development cycles. Next, we can't ignore its scalability. REST is stateless, meaning each request from a client to a server contains all the information needed to understand and respond to the request. This statelessness allows for greater scalability, as the server doesn't need to remember anything about the client between requests. Performance-wise, REST is a winner too. It supports caching, which can significantly improve response times and reduce server load. But let's not sugarcoat things. REST has its drawbacks. One significant concern is its lack of built-in security features. Unlike its counterpart, SOAP, REST does not have a standard message security format, which could leave your data more vulnerable. Additionally, the statelessness of REST, while beneficial for scalability, may not work well for applications that require continuous client-server communication. Without a built-in mechanism for managing state, developers must implement their own, which can add complexity. While REST has its merits, it's not without its shortcomings. Balancing these pros and cons and understanding the needs of your specific project is crucial in deciding whether REST is the right choice for you. A SOAP, on the other hand, is known for its robustness and security, but it's not without its flaws. When it comes to the benefits, SOAP is a heavyweight contender. Its ability to operate over any protocol, not just HTTP, gives it a broad reach. It's highly extensible thanks to its XML basis, and it's well known for its high security, making it a trusted choice for enterprise-level applications. However, 
every coin has two sides. Soap's complexity and verbosity can be a stumbling block. This complexity can lead to a steep learning curve. It's also worth mentioning that soap messages, being text-based and verbose, can be heavy, affecting performance. Moreover, soap is not as flexible when it comes to data formats. Unlike REST, which can handle multiple data formats, SOAP only uses XML. SOAP's strengths clearly lie in its robustness and security, but its complexity can be a double-edged sword. So, REST or SOAP, which is the better choice for data science? The answer isn't as black and white as you might think. It all comes down to the specific requirements of your project. If speed and scalability take precedence, then REST could be your go-to. However, if your project demands a high level of security and operates over multiple protocols, then SOAP might just have the edge. In the end, it's not about which API is superior, it's about which one suits your needs the best.